Okay, well, before, wait. No. Okay, well, at the time I was like, wait, like he's cutie. Like I kind of have a crush. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to episode 12 of the Crew Podcast, the lowest rated podcast in the world. My name is Tuv. Brandon or AJ. Cameron or Puffy. Verena. Our Hi first guys. ever woman guest. We're going to sound like insults with that. I know, woman guest. I know. Well, we have our first ever mortal, mo motor cycle riding guest, right? Jake and Johnny didn't ride bikes. I don't know if they did. I don't think so. What if they did? I just dissed them hard right now. <laughs> they made the community little, do you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, they actually invented motorcycles. Oh, yeah, they did. So today we're going to, it's going to be like interview slash full on conversation with our very special guest, Verena. I've been looking forward to this one so much. And apparently she's been looking forward to it as well. I have. She's been a fan of the channel for a while. Mm -hmm. Right? I have actually. Okay. Yeah. I first thing I want to say is how we met. We should get that <laughs> we should get that That's uh, funny because that was one of the notes I wrote down. Really? But I want to hear what you have to say first. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I remember where I was actually. That's and that's kind of rare. I remember where I was when I first got the notification that you followed me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I remember your profile picture was like an IMVU character. It was like a it was like a 3D character. I actually don't remember that. Uh, I'm not lying though, because I remember. <laughs> um, I was at uh, I was eating at a restaurant with my family, and that place is called Norms. I'm pretty sure it's called Norms. And I get a notification. It says Ver Verena. How do you say it? Sayed? Sayed. Sayed. Yeah, you're so Verena Sayed has followed you. I'm like, what? One of the first pictures you had at the time, and I checked. I don't think you still have it up. It was you like. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it Spotify? Like you were at or SoundCloud, like a, a studio or something like that, where they had the big logo and you oh, took a picture with it. I think I was at Playlist Live and I was at like the Spotify Studio part of Playlist. Oh, I think was it like a pink room, a pink? Outfit? I think it was. Yeah. Did you archive it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't like the outfit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when when you first followed me, I'm like, oh, an artist just followed me. <laughs> Like, you're probably Sorry like, to disappoint. You're probably like, oh. <laughs> you sounded like, so disappointed. Oh, when I first thought. <laughs> I was like, oh, she probably want to collab on a song or something. <laughs> Sounds some. And then, of course, I hit the follow back. I got to follow back. So I'm looking. I'm like, wait, you don't make music. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what I remember. That's what I remember. And I think we texted a few times. And now we're here. Like, that happened about a year and a half ago, yeah. if I remember correctly. And so, yeah, how did you find me? Through YouTube. I was actually really like, recording my own like get ready with me vlog before I got here. And I was telling them how like I actually enjoy your videos. Like I don't watch a lot of YouTubers, but like I was telling them like your videos are like Netflix documentary like type oh, shit. You. Yeah. And so I remember I would watch your videos and I was like, I should just follow him. Like he seems cool. Like I want to be his friend. And then. <laughs> I wrote this down because I honestly, I thought you thought I was weird because I what? DM'd you and I was like, hi. <laughs> you DM me first? Yeah. You did? Yes. Wait. I don't even remember. Should we look? I don't, yeah. I don't really remember. Yeah, but, we could check. Um, I DM'd you hi and you were like, hey, or something along those lines. Damn. And I was like, you seem really cool. I want to be your friend. And then you said something else and I just like didn't reply. And then I think that happened like two or three oh, yeah. times. Yeah. You Sometimes <laughs> you just don't respond. I remember. And then you would voice yeah. message me and be like, sorry, I get anxiety. You're like, I don't respond that much. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, damn, I didn't think I'd get that far. Like, what do I say now? Oh. Yeah. And then, like, I just never replied. And then that happened a few times. And then, you know, but we're here now. So, so you're willing to, like, follow me and DM me first. And then if I DM back, you just, like, get scared. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> that is so interesting. Has that changed? Yeah, no. No? No. You'd still do the same? Well, thing. I just stopped DMing people. I just saved myself the embarrassment. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I never thought you were weird. I never really DM people like that anyway, so like, I just want Why was I special? Why was I, why, why was I rare? Okay, well, before, wait. No. 
Okay. Well, at the time, I was like, wait, like, he's cutie. Like, I kind of have a crush. <laughs> so I was like, that was like. You guys, hear, you guys heard it here was, first. Like, my shooting my shot at the time. And it, like, it uh, obviously didn't work. Like, I didn't. I'm not good at it. I never said at the that time, was my special. I, I didn't either. At the time, yeah. I didn't either, but I was, like, getting into something. At the time, I didn't, yeah. but I was, like, getting into something. Yeah. But I don't think that's why I was, like, dry with you. I, well, I, also I remember. I didn't give you much to work with. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would send yeah. voice. Me- I think I send a voice message and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. The Lord so that's that's yeah. why you DM me. I was like, I don't know what to say now. Like, what am I supposed to say? So I just left it alone. Wow. <laughs> that's some nice lore. Yeah. Tub X Verena lore. <laughs> right. Wow. Whispered. <laughs> Damn. How was your day? What'd you do today? Um, I didn't do much today, to be honest. I just. I honestly spent most of the day, like, prepping for this, like, just taking my antibiotics. I was sick, like, a week ago, so I've just been keeping up. Yeah. And then I went and got some breakfast with my friend and then came home, got ready, and now we're here. Uh, how did you spend <laughs> yeah. Valentine's Day? Um, I went to, so my best friend is my neighbor, my next-door neighbor. Oh, okay. So, well, yeah, like, two of them, both of them. So, but one of them has a boyfriend and the other one doesn't, and so we just went to, like, two Asian markets and, like, Got a bunch of things to try and had a little mukbang. Wow. Yeah. That's sweet. I thought, well, I guess it makes sense. Because you posted those pictures of you on the bike on Valentine's Day. It makes sense you didn't take the pictures that day. Yeah. So how how far back did you take the pictures until you posted them? Like two weeks. I was Really? I wanted to post them so bad. I was fiending, yeah. She was cooking a real quick before she released them. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What did you do for Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day? I, um... Oh, I dropped Hachiko. Oh, the music video to Hachiko. One of my songs. Mm-hmm. The song, the audio's been out since January 1st, and I dropped the music video on Valentine's Day because I wanted to give Valentine's Day, like, a new meaning because I was, like, I'd be tweeting, like, on some hateful shit, like, fuck you and your Valentine. I don't know <laughs> if you've seen that, because you... <laughs> yeah, I tweeted I out, that. fuck y'all and y'all Valentine. <laughs> and those tweets always do good. I'll pop that up, too. But, I yeah. see that, no. But, um... Yeah, I don't really, like, I, I don't mind hating on couples that are happy. I don't mind it. But, like, as a joke, <laughs> I, I just don't, like, it's it's, it's Everyone in the room side-eyeing you. <laughs> I don't mind it. But when I get into a relationship, I'm not going to hate. I'm be like, damn, y'all hating? Why y'all hating, you know? I'm going I'm to switch up, yeah. Wow, bandwagon. <sighs> but, um, yeah, so I wanted to do Hachiko on Valentine's Day to give it a new meaning for me this year. And it did work because, like, the night before, I'm like, oh, shit, tomorrow... It's Hachiko Day instead of being like it's Valentine's Day. So that's why I did that. Yeah. And that not much. Not much. Uh got a few gifts. You know, you know me. The okay. goat. <laughs> but nothing official yet. But yeah. How did you guys spend Valentine's Day actually? How did how did you guys I'll try and go first? So for me, I actually had mine on a Tuesday. So I just went out to dinner with my girl. Just a little something light. And then, just, what'd you guys get for dinner? We had um, Paul. Have you heard of a place called Paul Martin's? I haven't. It's like a little steakhouse, mm. or like not really. It's like an American Grill, actually. It's actually a pretty chill place. It's not bad. Yeah. Just went there for dinner, and then um, just went to go chill by the beach after. That sounds really nice. Yeah, just yeah, that chill. is that is sweet. Oh, one of the things I really want to talk to Verena about, I'm talking to you guys, I want to talk about her blow up. So what we know is that you blew up in your teens, late, late teens, I would say, like, high school, mm-hmm. um, was it, because we saw your most popular videos. It was along the lines of, like, wearing every color to school for a week. Yeah. What's your most popular video? Um, wearing solid colors to school for a week. And how many views does that have? I think, I think it's about to hit 10 million. Like, it still gets views to this day. Are you really serious? Crazy. Yeah. What the, that's yeah. an insane, <laughs> first of all. When we're talking about YouTube algorithm, you know me, I'm the god at that. <laughs> but that is an insane niche. I would say that's lifestyle vlogs. Yeah. And the, what? how long is that video? Because I it think- It was like 35 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That is it insane. Was a, it was a good video. It was a good era. Oh, you can make <laughs> yeah. ad revenue off that. Yeah, that was, yeah. But it was also really overwhelming because I was like 16 at the time and I was like, whoa, what do I do with all this? I know, right? Yeah. That has to be. I feel that sometimes yeah. now at 21 and yeah. that's a lot. But mm-hmm. so- what, that your most popular video is that the first one that went viral? Or you had one before that that went viral. 
I had some that would like blow up like maybe like 100 to 200k but it wasn't until that one that the rest started like gaining traction and picking up so it was kind of crazy and it, it was like one of those things like I literally went to sleep and woke up the next morning and it was like at a million and I was like ah! so f- <laughs> it was insane dude that- and like I would be in class refreshing 2 million 3 million 4 million I was like dude what is happening I wonder how many views you were getting um per hour yeah, I have no idea, but it was like in maybe you're getting like around 100 to 200k yeah. per hour. Yeah, it was really crazy. Um, and just the fact that it still gets views to this day is is kind of crazy because I'm like, dude, like that was years ago. Like people are perceiving like this version of me. Where you're I was right, like, child. Yeah. Introduction of you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's oh, that is a lot to think about. Yeah, like I think posts like I posted like even just a few months ago. I don't even like. I don't know. I just feel like a change. You never thought about deleting them. No, I would no. never. Yeah, I want to like one day show my future kids my YouTube channel because I feel like I've oh, been... privating them then. No, I if it gets never. too overwhelming, I no. don't think I would. Public. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's hard to private videos that have a lot of views. Yeah, and older ones. I I do have a lot of videos private because we used to say some stupid shit on on our vlogs. We all I used to vlog in high school, and yeah. they would be in it like all of our friend groups. And yeah, we would say some stupid shit. So I, I made sure to private all of them. Cancelable, like yes, no, <laughs> seriously, I'm open yeah. about it. I'm open about it. But like, yeah. you know, the good thing is we matured. Exactly. That's that's you learn from it. Yeah, that's what we want people to focus on, not those yeah. clips which they can't <laughs> clip because they're all private now. <laughs> but um, when that happened, you said you were in you what grade? I was. I was a freshman in high school. Oh my god! What? Yeah. And you went to school the same day it was blowing up. Yeah. Caught what? Oh, it Did, was bad. What about it the people? Bad, what about right? the people in school? Were it they was like... bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah. Um. To give you context, I shortly went into homeschooling. <laughs> really? Um. Yeah. Like I would say six months later, but it was good because then I ended up doing like my whole like um high school in like one and a half years. So like sophomore to senior year. I finished in one and a half, so I graduated early, and I just had a bunch of time to. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so when you did, when the video was blowing up, and you were still in public school, were like people looking at you weird in the hallways, like that's that YouTube girl. Yeah. yeah, dude. Or like mean girl, like mean girls were a thing. Like there uh. would be girls that would like yell shit by me as I was walking past. Like at the time, my whole thing was like, oh, I'm a catfish, because like my whole thing was going to school with like crazy makeup yeah. these eyeshadow looks like, that hold the mic a oh sorry <laughs> that yeah. matched my outfit and so um i specifically remember there was like these two girls that like every time like i had to pass them for one of the periods they uh. would like be like hey catfish but like like really like it wasn't awesome like petty a, shit. yeah and then there was name this- drop them no, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> you just walk past them like yeah and like i didn't have a backbone at the time so i'd just be like <laughs> um and there was this one kid i vividly remember um i think he like still hates me to this day which is crazy because i've i've literally never done anything to this man except like exist in my little colors but um i had biology class with him and he would like literally like tell me to like so like next to him in class really he's like yeah. randomly yeah, he'd be like, "Why are you wearing all that fucking makeup? Like, you look stupid. Like, take like, what are you what? like? I, like, yeah, you're at school. Like haters, weirdo yeah. shit. That's it weird. was like crazy. Like, honestly, in my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe he's like secretly closeted or something, yeah. and like is upset he can't express himself. <laughs> but like, because what man gets this angry at some eyeshadow? Yeah. <laughs> like, a little secret crush or something. Maybe, TV, but yeah. yeah, that damn did did that those comments affect you? Um. Yeah, I would say like it wouldn't now, but I think because it was so fresh and like such an adjustment to like even like just I don't know it was literally such an overnight thing, dude. So I like yeah, club. yeah. What what were you planning on becoming? Because now you're a full on influencer, and then did that like your YouTube going great? Were you like okay now I could do this, but I wanted to be something else. I thought I was going to be, I thought I was going to go to Harvard and have my own law firm in New York. I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> bro, I, smiled, I was smiling too. She looked at me. I couldn't look away. Dude, not your lip quivering. <laughs> yeah, that feels kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Harvard is crazy. Harvard is That's crazy. I will lie. Be. Going to jail. <laughs> but you want to be a lawyer. I, I really wanted to be a lawyer. I still really want to wow. be a lawyer. Like, I think sometime in my future, I am going to dedicate some time to going to law school and Dude, taking the bar exam. That's so fucking that. cool of you, though, because I was telling them, like, you really be doing so much shit that as an influencer, we don't do. Like, I wouldn't go back to school, but you've done it. Like, you went to the 
fashion school. Yeah. And now you're considering going to law school. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why? I just, I feel like it's one of those things, like, if you can, why not? You know? Like, I've obviously been put in, like, a, a situation where I'm really lucky to where I don't have to, but I'm also given, like, the, the opportunity to, you know? And I have the free time. I have the money to go to college, so it's like, why not, you know? Like, I feel like at this stage of my life, like, I'm definitely not ready. There's a lot more things that I need to, like, figure out first before I commit all that time to college, but... It's also, like, a dream I would be giving up on, like, my inner child, like, you know? Okay. Yeah, I've just, I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Even if I do become a lawyer or not, I at least want to take the bar exam, try it, you know? So why'd you yeah. go to fashion school first before, if you knew you wanted to be a lawyer? So, <laughs> great question. <laughs> I don't know if you can relate to this or not, but um, I feel like at that time of my life, like, I was literally just, like, making YouTube videos, and it was kind of forced. I didn't really like the content I was making, and every day just kind of felt like, the same and I didn't really know what I was doing and I needed some sort of like direction or like schedule or something and so I had convinced myself that going to college would be a good yeah. idea like it would give me some sort of like substance or routine um so I like fully convinced myself that it was a good idea and then I went to college and I realized I was like I just put myself in a dark, like, not a dark, like, a, a deeper hole, you know? Like, first of all, now I have no time for anything. Now it's yeah. just homework class, homework class. Do you like, regret it or no? Uh, no, I don't. I still met some really cool people, and I got, like, the, the experience, and I learned a lot. Um, but I will say I did drop a lot of money in tuition, <laughs> so that was something. Okay. Yeah. Sit in. Really? Fashion Institute? Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the one you're talking about? I was talking about that, but I was thinking about... Uh, going back to uh, Otis, Otis College. I think I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. is it like another like fashion tech? Yeah. Uh... Do you recommend like? Cause I, I'm all about like fashion, so I want to venture off, go to like a school that's like focused on fashion. I want to learn about the whole industry. Do you recommend? Honestly, like... deep down, if that's your passion, yes. Like yeah. my thing was, I dropped out because I was sitting in class one day and I was like, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> same story. Yeah, I dropped out in. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say the college name, but this college I went to, because I thought the same thing. I'm sitting in class. I'm like, I'm not supposed to be here. I look so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cried yeah. on my way out, but. Well, yeah. We have. It's like, if stories. I'm going to be in college, it's going to be for something I'm like passionate, passionate about. For, and yeah. that is like law and like criminology and shit like that. So I'm just like, why? What, what, I just had like a whole identity crisis in that one class. Me I was too. like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm the same story. Me too. I went to the bathroom to think about it for like a cool 20 minutes. I just walked yeah. out. And yeah. never came back. Yeah, I never came back. They never saw me. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting that you yeah. actually went to college. I mean, like willingly, because we yeah. we went to like us three went to college, or at least I never showed oh, no, up. I mean, yeah, I mentioned that on the first you pod. You were supposed to, but you didn't. We were supposed to go to the same community college, all three of us, mm -hmm. and then. Was this before your YouTube? Yeah, before. Oh. So we graduated 2020. I think you did as well, because I saw yeah. a picture. 2020. So you had a COVID graduation. Yeah. Wow. It's like a little family backyard uh, pop a champagne bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't have like prom or anything. Nothing. I had nothing. I yeah. wanted to go to prom. So I bad. wanted to go to prom so I, bad. I never cared about that. Either. I Honestly. did. I wanted to show up in a little flowy gown <laughs> and do my big one. <laughs> but yeah, that sucked. But um, we're talking about like 2020 grad. Oh, the uh, college. So we, we were all supposed to go to the same community college. It's the... The classic one that people from our school would go to, and um, he just didn't end up going, um, but he just didn't show up. Talk to the counselor and everything. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to show up. Dip. <laughs> <laughs> so um, then I did online class. Did you do online as well? Yeah, and then I had to go in class, and that's when I dropped. Yeah, I did online and, you know, with Zoom and... I actually was in a fashion class. That's so interesting. You were? Really? I don't... I'm just finding this out, really. Really? You're What'd just... You learn? Uh, I had to get this book, and they were talking about material of clothing and de certain designers, but back in the day, like old people. Mm. Dude, I swear. century designers? Yeah, yeah. I, ha I used to have the book. Um, I threw that shit away, though. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know... Remember... Dude, I don't know if you also feel this, but every kid that doesn't know what to do in college, they're like, I'm going to do business. 
It's all on a business. So that's what I think what we all had. I, so I think I took I, business too. I just went because my work at the time was paying for it. I'm like, let me just go. So that I, was pretty cool. No cost. Yeah. Like, but 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 um, I hated that shit. I took a I took a picture on Snapchat. I sadly deleted that Snapchat account. I wish I had that picture. But I took a picture of the teacher there, and um and I captioned it. Um, I can't wait to drop out of this fuck ass school. Or some shit <laughs> like that. I wish I could post that now. But um yeah, I, I absolutely hated that. That was twenty twenty Zoom, Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. And you know, that was my year to grind. That was like, okay, I'm gonna grind YouTube. I didn't blow up that year. So I was like still struggling yeah. with low money in the bank account. But um, you did it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I did it in twenty twenty one. Yeah. And that's when I was able to drop out of college and, and clicking that dropout class or like the button, dropout class button. Bro, that felt good. It did, huh? Yes, that felt great. And yeah. yeah, I don't think I'll ever go to college. I know college gets gets a bad rep when it comes to like I guess people that like us, for example, we fucking hate college. But I know it's pretty good for some people. Yeah. Um, and it's very helpful if you're passionate about what you're doing. I don't think it's necessary yeah. for sure. Yeah, like I wouldn't even go if I just. I feel like I owe it to like my younger self, you know. And I just feel like I should try. Yeah, and if it's too rigorous, I can just leave. <laughs> that's a lot yeah. of self-respect, though. Like doing it for your younger self. That's that's really cool of you, yeah. dude. That's discipline yeah. too. Yes, putting everything to sign to do something like that. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Back on your blow up. Back on your blow up. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about your style of videos. Mm -hmm. I, I would consider them lifestyle vlogs. What would you consider them? I would also say lifestyle vlogs. It's okay. funny though because I used to very much be a beauty guru, like strictly like makeup mm -hmm. reviews yeah? and makeup tutorials. Yeah. Okay. A minute. That is isn't. I don't. Well, it's because I, I, I don't get those on my recommended because I don't watch makeup yeah. videos. <laughs> but you would do like how to do blank makeup style or? Essentially, yeah. Like makeup tutorials or like get ready with me. And then I would like show how to do my makeup and how I picked my outfit out and stuff like that. And that's like how I like started blowing up essentially. Wow. And then. Yeah, it's it's funny because I like did a whole 180 on my niche. Like now it's just like motorcycle vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. So when, okay, if that video was blowing up, uh, the colors one, mm -hmm. and uh, it's 30 minutes long, mm -hmm. that ad revenue back in the day, I don't know how much the CPM has changed, but it's still a lot of money for back in the day. Yeah. And you were like- 16. I thought you were a freshman. You were 16? 15, 16, okay. something. I don't know. Maybe 15. It was all a blur. <laughs> freshman year, usually you're 14 and you leave at 15, but- Still, let's just say 15. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. It was like towards the end of freshman year. So you were 15? Probably. Probably. But, um, dude, how the fuck did you react when you saw that amount of money? I like did not know what to do. I just remember like I woke up and I checked it and my mom, my sister, and my sister's fiance was were downstairs. And I was just like, guys, is this chat? Is this real? <laughs> like, what's happening? <laughs> And they were just like, honestly, I'm I'm very lucky that like I've heard some other stories of like influencers who get a lot of money really young and like their parents kind of like, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. So I'm very lucky that my parents like showed me what to do with it and like showed me how to save and like weren't so like, oh, hand it over, you know. Shit! Wow. Yeah. Tell the camera how much you made. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Then it's a screenshot of how <laughs> was the if that was like a. A lucky viral video at the time. I know you've had more viral videos. Um, was the ad revenue consistent, like monthly? Did it dip, go up, or it stayed at a certain amount? I think that was that video at its peak was the highest my ad AdSense has ever been on YouTube. Really? Yeah, like peak, like it was the highest. And then, obviously, from there it wasn't consistent with that number, but it was pretty high consistently for a while until like the the hype of like my videos blowing up like kind of went down. And it was okay. just like I had more of like a consistent fan base and it was like yeah. still pulling in like regular viewers and it was good. It was consistent, but it was it wasn't like the viral video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have a question? I, I, I thought I heard you like breathe in to ask a question. No, I'm breathing. <laughs> OK, I, 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 I got a really interesting question. I want to put my mic okay. when it comes to your viral video, but also just your comments. What do your hate comments look like? Because I don't really see them, but I know you see them because it's you. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, guys, I get really nasty hate comments. Like, really, really. Really? Nasty. Yeah. Like, really nasty. Like, it's women, rare. Or... Both. Yeah. It's rare that I do. 
honestly i will say like i'm very blessed like my audiences are very kind people <laughs> but when it does like get too much out on recommended and it starts like reaching more people that aren't necessarily in my niche or like would normally watch my videos the comments are just really really ugly um i remember the first like really really bad one i got and it was on that solid colors video and mm. i like I, like, didn't want to leave the house the next day. <laughs> and now the hate comments I get are mostly, like, I haven't started getting a lot until, like, the motorcycle videos, honestly. So, oh. yeah, a lot of it will be, like, misogynistic men, like, yeah. threatening to, like, run me off the road because my bike is pink. Um, And then it'll be, like, a lot of women being, like, you ride bikes for attention from men. And I'm, like, okay. That's the same thing. Yeah. I think it replied to one of your tweets. I think it was. I think, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you, you complained was. about something and I replied with, Oh, it was the girls adding me to a group chat to complain about or talk shit about that other yeah. girl. Yeah. And I replied, <laughs> I said, women hating on other women is so unattractive. Yeah. Like, that shit is weird. Mm -hmm. Like, it's I get so guys weird. hating guys because we're just guys. I think our egos were like, our egos are just really bad. But, like, when it comes to, like, girls hating girls, like, damn, y'all supposed to, like... It just irritates mm. me because at that point, like, if I get a hate comment from a man, I'm like, oh, okay, like, whatever. Right. But as a woman, I'm just like, dude, like, this is an obvious, like, self-projection. Like, it kind of makes me feel bad for you, like, more yeah. than, like, whatever you're t telling me, you know? So it's like, I can't do much than, like, pray for you, girl. <laughs> like, I heal, please. You think hate, but... like, the motorcycle community? Like, men who are like, oh, why is she wearing a fucking pink bike or something? No, I will say, like, the motorcycle community is, like, really sweet. But there's also, like, people that watch, like, the audience of, like, the motorcycle community who either don't ride or, like, are very, like, oh, motorcycles are for men yeah. who do ride. And I will get, like, nasty comments from them or being, like uh like put the bike down like just like this isn't for you oh my god yeah I, yeah I dude know. it's always the it's but i feel like that that's always how it's gonna be like as a woman in like male dominated like hobbies or fields it's just it is what it is but it's yeah i get the same shit on my music though mm -hmm. like this fire on mute but it's always <laughs> it's always that though <laughs> laughing at you i know it's yeah I'm, man that made me feel bad dude no, i kidding, will say it. i haven't listened to your music besides hachiko because of a uh -huh. snippet you posted i was like wait this is actually really fire and okay i listened okay. to it yeah and i really do like that one but i will okay. be honest and say i haven't listened to any of that's it. okay that's okay yeah i'm, a, I'm, a, I'm really that was it. really fire i really liked it dude, yeah. thank you but yeah yeah i don't know i with the hate comments for my channel I don't think they ever truly affected me, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I think, oh, I think I know why. I think it's because I came from a meme page community. <laughs> I think oh, that's well? why. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's you, that? Meme page? Like, oh, I thought you said mean page. No, no, no. I was no, like, no, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> meme page on Instagram. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> that shit, like, I would get hate comments all the fucking time. Dude, I would hate when they would go racist, and they didn't get my race right. <laughs> It'd be like ching chong tub, and I'm like, bruh, I'm Mexican. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that shit was so annoying. But like, and then I went to YouTube, and I, I would, and I was always like, why is your hair green? You look like blank. And then like, there would be like weird shit. Oh, the one I get the most hate on to this fucking day is my septum piercing. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just men being like, you look gay, take it off, bro. Like it. That one's the most that it, all the time, even in public sometimes. That's their go-to. And I'm like... People say that to you in public? Bro, remember that dude? The fucking... Oh, look, it's crazy. I know. No, what? The remember dude... that dude? I wasn't there for sure. No, no, no. no. You were. You were. <laughs> it was the dude when you were parking at the gas station and you, you beat him to the gas station. Remember? You And you're next to his house. house. Oh, night. That yeah. dude's comment. I forgot what he said, but he's like... Oh! He went at his nose. He's like, you like kissing guys, huh? <laughs> And I was like, then I'm like, oh, Old that's days. people's go-to. I honestly would have said, like, yeah, and what? <laughs> <laughs> but you should have seen what he's driving. Like, bro, you can't talk. I know. But, like, that's always people's go-to. I'm like, bruh. I mean, that's okay. I The ones that annoy me the most, I shouldn't even say because they're going to use it. But the ones that annoy me the most, like, your thumbnail was ass. I'm like, no! <laughs> no! They'll be like, your hook was ass. No, bro, I worked hard on that hook, bruh. Yeah, I feel like comments, like, about the video. Like, I will say comments that hurt my feelings the most <laughs> like also side eyeing the camera i'm like hold on or like when people are like this video is boring i didn't like this one or like yeah I'm like oh damn like stomp on my heart will you down the next video you see a couple <laughs> of it was boring take it on <laughs> dude i remember do someone, better boo someone took it out on my dog <laughs> <laughs> what my toby was in the background of, of one of my videos uh -huh. and they were like someone commented they're like <laughs> something along the lines i remember they used the word mutt 
They're like, this video is ass and that mutt is ugly too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's like, Damn. what the fuck did Toby do? The that only would piss video. me off. That's a deep I know, right? That would piss me off. The only one, but it made me laugh so much. That's why I wasn't like full <laughs> angry mode. How do you get a pass for that real quick? Yeah, and he looks so cute in the video too. But like, bruh. <laughs> Aww. I know. This is for Toby. I know. I could probably find it if I look up the keyword mutt because no one comments that on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay okay so you blew up and you were getting all that money not to say you aren't anymore so you were getting all the money and then you said you decided to go to private schooling or like in, in homeschooling it was independent study so um it was basically a program where i could get school done quicker and i would just have to go into like an office once or twice a week and just like give them all the homework that i like however much i got done and they would just grade it i would come back next wow week. why'd you why'd you do that um so for two reasons so i was actually homeschooled for a little bit like a little little bit of freshman year because i had to be because i have a blood condition called neutropenia which is basically like the white blood cells that like fight off your sickness wow and okay. so well, <laughs> no i was looking at your hand <laughs> motion, <laughs> i was just making sure the mic was on the right have side, you ever said so. that that you have neutro yeah peen, yeah peen with neutropenia neutropenia has yeah. the word peen in it that's great <laughs> <laughs> that's why you get sick it'll, yeah it'll easier right yeah yeah so when i catch a cold like it'll either like extend for a longer period of time or it'll just like really kick my ass and so um it was really bad in freshman year so i had to go into homeschooling for like a month two months and i was like wait I'm I'm bored. Like I need to go back to school. Yeah. Yeah. And so I went back to school, and then I started making the YouTube videos, and then um, the bullying was just honestly really, really bad, and I had no backbone, and I was also like very insecure at the time, you know, like a 15, 16 year old. Like yeah. Like now I wish I could go back as like me with like my confidence. We all now. think like that. I yeah. wish. Yeah. yeah. Like girl stand up is not that serious, <laughs> but um, yeah. So the bullying, and then also um, the neutropenia was like still a thing. So. It kind of just made more sense for me to go back into independent studies. And then, yeah. And you just graduated like that? Um, So I went into independent studies sophomore year again. So I would say like maybe six six to eight months after like the whole YouTube blow up, I think. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then so from the second semester of sophomore year to senior year, I got that all done in one year. Okay. And then graduated 2020. So wow. how did you go to a public school for then just like? before online like two semesters oh wow <laughs> yeah like freshman year freshman year second semester and sophomore year first semester oh yeah so you ever keep in contact with anyone from those schools or no since you were there for so little some of them yeah like some of my best friends still like to this day like my my best friends kayla leilani Diviana. hi guys if you watch this <laughs> but um yeah we met in eighth grade and we all went to high school together so did you have any people that switched up like you blew up and they're like damn you're lame now 100 <laughs> percent. really yeah oh my gosh there's this one kid i'll never forget because he just like hurt me so bad he was like one of my best friends at the time mm -hmm. And I remember, like, the the whole train, the whole, like, bandwagon at the time was, like, to make fun of me. And so, like, people on Twitter and Instagram, like, on their Finstas would, like, post pictures of my YouTube videos and, like, make fun of me. Whoa, wait, wait you were getting bullied. I thought It was you bad, guys. Bullied? Like, I'm not being dramatic. I, I thought, <laughs> like, it like, was bad. Down the hallways, like, that example, you're talking about, like, you it was be on Twitter? It was in person, yeah. Twitter, yeah, Instagram, yeah, everything. Like, what did people the not break? It, it like i did this thing where i put like hair clips on my pockets that like matched my outfits and like people were like take the i don't know they found like any any reason you any excuse to just yeah. Yeah. yeah on the style yeah and so this kid would literally like come hang out with me and my family and like like has been in my home and like my mom would like make him dinner and i remember like as someone had sent me a screenshot of some girl like making fun of me on her finsta and he was in the comments like laughing and i was like oh <gasps> And that was your quote unquote like friend, well, like one of my best know. friends. That what the fuck? Me. Yeah, dude. And was like, he, like wait, 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 hang wait. out consistently too. And like he was like also adding on to it. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. This is and this is a random question, but if you're saying that he's your best friend, I, first idea was like gay best friend. Was he actually gay or yeah? Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So she said no. I would have been like, nah, I'm fucking canceled. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Gay best friend. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I still wonder how he's doing and, like, if he ever, like, feels bad for that. Never apologized? No. 
I confronted him and he was like, I I forgot what his excuse was, but he was like, it's not that serious. And I was like, dude, like I've cried to you about like how bad this is getting, you know? I had my mom. You've been in my mom cooked you dinner. (laughs) Like, said it was good. (laughs) You finished it. You left no crumbs. No crumbs left. You ate the plate, matter of fact. Yeah. Oh, dude, that. So I don't know if you can relate to this too, but I feel like that from like an early age, like made me very wary of like who's in my circle and like who I'm actually calling my friends. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, seeing those numbers for other people like changes them in a really weird way in a way that where they think it changes you but it really doesn't like it just i know i know right yeah uh not only i had that in my life luckily i think really good. it was just um uh my family thinking like i'm a millionaire but i'm not yet <laughs> not yet Period. but uh but they're mostly mature about it and my friends bruh it's really only these people in the room. There's some people outside of it. Shout shout out Maddie Balls, Brian Arnett, Aaron. <laughs> but like, yeah, I know Maddie Balls is such an unserious name, bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. We weren't friends with everyone in high school. It was always just us. It was well, we, always just we us. We were. We well, no, we just knew people. Yeah, it was. I just noticed. That. Yeah, we would skate after school and everything. Aww. So. Not that we skate anymore. I tried skating and uh, nah, I injured my ankle so so bad I can't skate anymore. But but I took that as a sign because at some point I wanted to be a pro skater. Then that happened with my ankle and I'm like, nah, I'm going to sit on my, my <laughs> I'm computer. Good. I'm going to sit on my, my computer. computer. <laughs> yeah. So that was really, I like that that happened. But every time I, I, I remember yesterday I landed a kickflip, but that shit hurts. Really? Yeah, my ankle was hurting. I've always wanted to learn how to skateboard. Oh, I can I fix have- my ankle just to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get it checked out. I'll go get it checked out. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right. So time. I'm gonna hold for- you to that. Okay, you can. Time for some laptop questions. I realized that with the, I'm trying to fill it up like my laptop with all stickers. Mm-hmm. So you guys are gonna see the process, and I think that's or the progress. That one's my favorite one. Which one? The chromey. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. my favorite one. <laughs> no, yeah. So, okay, so I have an interesting question, and okay. it's about, it revolves around your uh, cheating video, where you <laughs> confronted your ex about cheating. Yes. And we're not going to really... I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> You remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's ringing a bell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not really going to talk about that video, but I want to talk about the aftermath of it. Mm-hmm. And one of the things you tweeted was like, I can't believe I dated a 5'5 man. <laughs> I have one question. I have two questions. One of them, was he actually 5'5", five five or was that an exaggeration? He was, I think, 5'4", actually. I think I gave him a little oh. extra. <laughs> and <laughs> second thing I want to ask. I was talking to these guys about it. What if it was the opposite? What if a girl cheated on, uh, let's see me. A girl cheated on me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, um, yeah, fuck that bitch. She was like 300 pounds anyway. <laughs> then I'm canceled, but you weren't for body shaming a 5'5 five five man, a short man. I would say that's different because weight and height are, like, different. Like, that's just different. But the it weight is be... controllable. I'm and, not, again, I'm not insult podcasting right now. Like, and he I'm not did, doing that shit. And he, I'm, I'm just asking. Like, he uh, cheated on her, so also, after that, it's off balance. No, I know, but in the uh, also, example I'm saying, I will say, like, I can fully, like, take myself out of, like, being me in that situation and be like honestly that is kind of like a mean thing to say about someone but in the moment i was i was in a rage yeah, no. i was like Did you get backlash from that or no 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 nah, dude yeah the girls love girls you know you know that mentality but also like that's valid like he fit in my pants <laughs> that's <laughs> like, that i know man. That's crazy. no 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 i could step on because dude <laughs> We have a lot of team boy viewers. If some of them are short, I don't want them to feel bad. Bro. No, shout out to you. No, I love short. I love my short kings. I won't lie. I love my short kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you, little guy. I just wanted to bring it up for the, like yeah. the the opposite. If a guy were to say that about a woman, like her weight. Okay, well, I think weight is different. Like, what if? Why do you think? We, it's but different? also, I will say, I did have guys in his defense in my comments. Really? Yeah, being like, oh, well, you dated him knowing he was short and ugly anyways. Oh, <laughs> like, I thought they were defending like that. Cheerleader. He did. Little, his little homies. Uh, I think you're uh, saying yeah. he's de- they're defending his height. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. they were like, well, he cheated on you because he had a reason to. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that. No. How tall are you? I'm 5'1". Oh, so he's a little bit taller. Okay. I thought if you were taller than him, that's crazy. No. That was, yeah. yeah that yeah. would have, yeah. <laughs> that would have, no. I also have another random, pretty random question. Okay. But I think... uh. 
you took a vacation, if I remember from your stories. Mm-hmm. I'm going off memory. Okay. I think you went on a vacation to Hawaii at some point. Mm-hmm. Did you go alone? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you go on a vacation alone? I really want to talk about that. I thought that was so interesting. Well, while it was happening, I was like, is she alone? <laughs> I was like, Whoa. I had a lot of people confused. Like, some people thought I was, like, on a secret vacation. Some people thought I was alone. Some people thought I was with friends and just not posting them. But, no, I went alone. And I was, like, alone for 90% of it besides, like, meeting strangers and hanging out with them. But I was kind wow. of just, like, on my, like. Spur of the moment, let me go to Hawaii. Yeah, actually. <laughs> um, no, I think, like, deep down I had been craving, like, a vacation, like, somewhere tropical. Um, and it, my, bo- my not my boyfriend, my birthday was approaching. And so um, I was like, let me do something nice for myself. I booked the trip. Um, and I thought going alone would be actually very healing and, like, nice. Like, just was have it? some... It was very, very nice. Yeah, I loved it, actually. Like, I, I, like, had things on my itinerary. I went snorkeling with fishes. What were you there for? <laughs> Um, I was there for a week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you still work on YouTube or like work I while was, you're there? Yeah, I was like editing and vlogging. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I also really, really loved it because I didn't have anyone in my ear being like, "Can you hurry up and finish getting ready? Like yeah. we have this." Like no, because like I made the itinerary. Like this is my oh. trip. I made the rules, you know. And it was just really nice to like go explore and like. Just be on my own and like it, I love people watching and like meeting people. Period. So it was just like a really fun time. I, I really loved it. I would do it again. I was thinking about doing it again for my birthday this year. Actually, Hawaii as yeah. well. Wow, that's maybe like a different part. When's your birthday? May. Oh, okay, it's coming up. Yeah. Okay. That's wow, about it. that's pretty cool. I have another random question. These are the random questions. Okay. Have no <laughs> I remember uh, that I think you said you signed to Playboy. Yes. So. I do want to ask why the you you dipped out of the. I think you you ended the contract or you ended it. Yes. Um. Very quickly. <laughs> so first of all, if you you signed it right, so you were a part of it for like a week maybe. Or, yes. Okay, so <laughs> what was the plan to do? Like what what were you gonna do at Playboy? So I was gonna be on their centerfold, and I was also gonna help like promote like their new lingeries or like stuff coming out you know um and i was actually really excited about it like that i toured the whole playboy hq it was super cool like i saw memorabilia that like probably not a lot of people get to see um and should i move into why i ended it now <laughs> damn uh, we missed out on some crazy photo shoots huh yeah <laughs> yeah no i was really excited for those oh. too. um so i ended it for for two main reasons one of the main ones being um i am pro-palestine a lot of my family and friends are palestinian um and so i was unaware of like their political stance or like human stance in that area you know and a lot of people were i was getting like an influx of comments i remember i had posted the vlog of me going to the headquarters and xyz and i was getting just like 90 percent of the comments were bad and it was just like oh like um playboy supports israel like they kicked out mia khalifa because she posted like a pro um palestine thing yeah and i didn't know about that either like they like fully terminated her um, from the company because she had i didn't really look into it too hard i just i saw that they they posted something like we have cut off mia khalifa and i was like damn um (laughs) and so that was one of it and then the second reason was I honestly was not too informed or like knowledged on Playboy as a company itself. And I didn't know a lot about their history. I did know that Hugh Hefner was not the greatest person yeah. when he was here. Um, but I just didn't really know to the extent, you know, and it's it's kind of a tricky situation because it's like, OK, well, like the new CEO and like the whole team is like women and they had nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? And like, I mm. feel like it's morally a lot better now, like definitely hundred percent. However, um, there was just like a few things that were told to me when I was on that tour that turned out to not be like true. And I just felt like I was getting like misled slash manipulated into like being excited about yeah. doing it, you know? So like, I just felt like overall, I felt like icky about it. You know, I also like, didn't, that's not really like my niche anyways. You know, I didn't want to like, it was cool. It was a really cool opportunity, but I don't know. You just you're associate with like your whole brand and their Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was I also feel like it's harder for women to be taken seriously when, you know? Oh, and and yeah. it sucks cuz like I don't care necessarily, but I also really 
would love to be recognized for more of like my YouTube videos and like projects that I do rather than like yeah, like wearing solid colors. Yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the hair clips yeah. on the pocket. On the pockets. <laughs> exactly. I remember when I got that on my feet. I'm like, whoa, what what <laughs> content we about to get? I had to I had to give a quick like. You already know a quick comment <laughs> saying I'm ready. Not just kidding. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> but yeah, and then I think you post on your story like terminated contract yeah. and you know what i was thinking at the time i was like because i didn't know about their political stance so the way i saw it was like damn you let your fl- your fans influence you that much that's what i was thinking but i didn't know about that um yeah but like and i also like did feel kind of wrong on my end because i was like well i am advocating very hard for pro palestine and then i'm yeah. with this company that just blatantly like yeah, represents like, exactly. yeah you know i see why a lot of influencers don't say their stance on stuff just so they it doesn't seem like they're hypocrites when they do support something. Yeah. But I will say I am a little sad about it still. Like it was a really cool opportunity. Yeah. You'll get more though. Yeah. You'll get so way more. When one door closes, door. another door opens. So True. that's fine. Yeah. Oh. Um, I wanna ask about the I'm a gamer. Like <laughs> where's I'm a gamer. Like what is that? What where did that come from? I actually we'll have play, no we'll idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like I genuinely have no idea. Oh, I can show you that. <laughs> No. We'll play it right now. What's happening? There's so much you don't know about me. Like what are you like an axe murderer? Worse. What? I'm a gamer. I have a link. <laughs> Wait, suddenly link? No, <laughs> suddenly. Oh my gosh. But yeah, you know, I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna play. <laughs> but yeah, so what is yeah. the context to that? <laughs> um, so I was seventeen in that. Okay. Um, and there's this company called Brat and they run like, um, TV shows on YouTube. The audience is So like... they're not TV shows. They're YouTube shows. <laughs> Basically, <Exclusive>. yes. <laughs> um, and the audience is obviously very young children. <laughs> um, and they offered me a very good amount. <laughs> and I was like, oh. you know what? Like, I'll act. Like, why not? Oh. Um, so... <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But, 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 but the, in the story of that that quote, the character was serious? Your character was actually saying, I'm a gamer? Or did she yeah. say, like, just kidding after? No, no, no. It was serious. Like, the, the context was, the like, script? the guy she liked in the show, the guy I liked in the show was, like, very against gamers because, like, oh, so I don't know. <laughs> what year was this again? And, like, my hidden truth in the show was that, like, I was, like, um... Fuck, what's it called? A like streamer? The, no, uh, like a pro game? like a pro gamer, like competitions. Oh. Like that was like my hidden truth, my secret. <laughs> oh, my. Who wrote the script? Yeah, no, who the fuck wrote the script? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, put that fucking name up right there. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up for real. I also want to have a talk with them. <laughs> That's what year was this again? I think it was 2021. Or oh, what? Yeah. Did they offer you the bag though, huh? They did. And you would do it too for a check. Okay, yeah, no, <laughs> I was an employee. Yeah. <laughs> but you're on a script. Like... Do you have those moments where you say like a TikTok audio, but your friends don't know what you're saying? Yeah, I was really worried that was about to happen. No, I, but I then get he it. laughed, so I was like, okay, we're safe. We'll say something, but we'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, another thing I noticed uh, from the stuff you post on your story, mm-hmm. you have a really good relationship with your father. I do. And yeah. do you think that has affected your uh, confidence? Just growing up with your with a really good dad. It's funny because me and my dad didn't have a good relationship up until like I graduated high school. So really? yeah, it's like I was like two very different people. But what do you mean my confidence? Because I there's always a joke when there's like an OnlyFans girl, they're like, mm-hmm. Yep, she doesn't have a dad, you know, like fatherless behavior. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like the opposite. Like you have a it seems like a very loving father very and loving. you're very confident. Yeah. I'm just putting two and two together. Yeah, he is genuinely my best friend, I would say. Um, I could tell him anything, no judgment. And, like, even if it's, like, the worst thing he could possibly hear, like, his first thing would be, like, okay, how can I help? And I, I love him and I appreciate him so much for that. Um, And I feel like with my confidence, honestly, yes. Like, he, that man hypes me up so much. <laughs> like, yeah, and I, I feel like he, when I don't see what I need to be seeing in the moment, like, he will put me in check. And, like, it's obviously very easy to for, forget, you know, like, wait, I'm, I'm kind of, like, I'm not that bad. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> and I'll have my moments. Like I am a very confident person, I'll say, but I'll I, I will have my moments where I'm like, wait, like I don't know, like you know, I just feel a little insecure sometimes and yeah, no, I love my dad. <laughs> so he makes me very confident. That's... And especially like in relationships like with men, um, like romantically. I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like hypocritical because I will say I haven't had the best relationships. <laughs> I don't have the best track record to show, but I feel like my standards are getting higher. Uh -huh. Um, So, yeah, I just honestly, like, every time, like, a man does something, I'm like, how would my dad feel about this? Like, how would my dad feel yeah, about meeting this man? Yeah, that's, that's a good yes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. I love that for Like, you. would my dad ever do this? Would my dad ever say this to me? So when we talk about, like, um, your dad and supporting your relationships, and talking about your relationships, how do you feel about dating influencers? Because it seems like those are what you go for. Personally, I can't do that. I don't think, mm -hmm. I don't think like, cause like, I just get this idea of like dating an influencer and already like people that I don't care about, not that I care about, like the, for example, people that I don't want in the, talking about my relationship would be talking about it. If I have like this girlfriend that works a regular job and I don't really post her like I would post her but I don't even want to tag you know because then the fans would go there and <laughs> I saw that happen in like slow motion <laughs> what for me no oh, the, oh the water him <laughs> yeah and no one said anything <laughs> but I wouldn't uh, that's what I don't like and then I bet you get it worse because I've already I had a girlfriend in public but regular job you know and Sometimes I get comments, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine an influencer that dated an influencer. It has to be daily. I wouldn't it, like intentionally go for influencers. Like, I feel like that's kind of just like what I was around at the time. And that's just who I ended up like vibing with and liking. But um, I, I don't care like what my partner does for work, whether it's like a normal job or an influencer, or, like fucking, I have no idea. Like, I just feel like there's something to learn from everyone, like whether or not the job like has anything to do with like what i do i feel like it would be kind of cool to like date someone who does the same thing i do i do <laughs> i do <does. laughs> um the same thing i do because like i don't know you can learn from each other but it's also like i can learn other things that i probably wouldn't learn about yeah yeah, yeah. Different does, i'm just yeah. talking about like the common standpoint because obviously yeah it's bad it's i don't want someone to get the idea that like i wouldn't love my partner if they were influencer. like don't <laughs> dude, i fucking would but i'm just saying like i wouldn't no, I I agree the with comments you. would annoy me. Yeah, I I think if I got another boyfriend, I don't think I would make it public at all. I think yeah. I would like I wouldn't keep it a secret, like I think, but I just you wouldn't go out. I wouldn't public. show who it is. I wouldn't tag. I would nothing. Like I don't think I can do another public relationship ever again. Uh, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do do you get like reminders and like comments? Why aren't you with blank? What happened with blank? I'll get like what happened with blank or damn blank fumbled bad and I'm like okay yeah I know but you know I gotta remind why are you reminding me like go tell him I know, I know right <laughs> Dude, yeah I will get like like little reminders but eh, nothing bad okay yeah okay now we have a sex a section on our podcast called explain that gram okay we made it up <laughs> and we didn't steal from hot ones whatever that show is called. yeah, yeah I don't even know what that show is have you heard of that I'm scared. So, I don't even remember like what what's on my Instagram. We're gonna start off <laughs> with a pretty recent one. You might get mad so after this. But... <laughs> yeah, these are pretty controversial images. <laughs> the first one is your most recent picture where you have angel wings or angel wings, right? Yeah. And you have your pink motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So that was a photo shoot that you planned two weeks ahead. Yeah. What was? Why did you want to do this? Um. Wait, so do I just, like, explain, yeah. like, the backstory? Um, So I have a friend who makes the angel wings, actually, and she also does photography, and she's trying to get, like, her angel wings more out there and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we've been kind of talking about it for a while. Like, ever since I wrapped my motorcycle pink, she'd be, she was like, dude, like, how sick would it be if we did a photo shoot with the pink wings and the pink bike? And I was like, dude, I think we need to that's do so that. Hard, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that so... Cool. um. Yeah, that's kind of just all there is to it. And Valentine's Day was coming up. I was like, okay, let's do like a little Valentine's Day theme. What do you average? Like your likes on Instagram? It's really sporadic. But is I, it? I would say somewhere between like 60 to 90,000. Fuck, Jesus yeah. Christ. No, I peak at 30 and I, I <laughs> barely get that. I, my average is like 20. 
Damn. Dude, when you get like, does a post ever flop bad? Uh, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. What what are we calling flop? Under your average. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? I archive. I was about to say, do you archive it? Yeah. Because I do the same thing. Yeah, but it's like so shameful. I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't care I know. about, I but know, like, right? I kind of do. And you would never do the hide likes. Yeah, option. because then it's ob- like yeah, obvious. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yeah. So about the motorcycle riding, like how long have you, like, what got you into that? Like, oh, I'm going to go ride like motorcycles with the, you know, your your group and all that. My dad. Yeah, um, he always rode growing up when I was little, and he would just always, like, have different bikes. And he'd be like, oh, like, come over, look, I got a new bike. <laughs> and oh, so, yeah, okay. he would just show me. And I was just always so fascinated. And in elementary school, he would, like, come pick me up on his motorcycle. And I always just felt so cool and badass. And I was like, when I'm, I would always tell him, when I'm older, I'm going to get a pink motorcycle, and I'm going to ride with you, blah, blah, blah. And, like, that was a dream. And I did it. And it was really, like, fulfilling and inner child healing. That's sick. Wait, so how old were you then when you got your first your first bike? Last year, 20. Oh. Yeah, no, I got it. I started, like, riding on my own in September, and I got my bike in the first week of October. Oh. Yeah, so, like, less than six months. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's pretty recent. I saw Mm -hmm. um, that she started posting about that. Would your bike call, like, a Trickster or a Sportster, whatever? Um, It's a... It's a style for that type of bike. It's a sports bike. It's It's a Ninja 400, yeah. Okay. Damn, what's the... Okay, I know nothing about like bikes <laughs> but, or, or even cars, bro. That's why I got the. You have a Tesla as well, actually. Yeah. Why'd you get a Tesla? She's pink too. It was just like a cutie car. I, I got a. It. I got a Tesla because I didn't want to do oil changes or anything. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about cars. <laughs> the place. I love doing. I just thought it was cute. I just wanted. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and you have a Model Three. I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. I have a. I have a. I think it might be the next one actually. Perfect segue. Oh no, it's not. That's a. Okay, let me just skip to it. So here we are, like, was this where you, you got it wrapped or? Yeah. So I had already had the car for like two years, and but I always wanted it pink and I just never did it. And then I just, I was, I was like, why don't I do it? Like, why haven't I wrapped it pink yet? Yeah. So yeah. How long I, did the wrapping process take? Like four days. It was pretty really? quick. Really? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Four days? Yeah. You got That place days. honestly has like a pretty quick turnaround. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Does it I don't really take longer to like. Well, let's say like a week, a week and a half for most places. Yeah. That took oh. a couple hours. Oh god. <laughs> dude, 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 I wouldn't. I I we were talking. Me and Andrew were talking about like mm-hmm. you know the new Cybertruck. Yeah. I would love to buy it, but I wouldn't because it's so like. First of all, I would be the only one in this area probably with it. But like, yeah, you're kind of a target. Yeah. Do you not feel that with pink? Like, oh, that's very nice. No, I do one hundred percent. Yeah. Especially with like. The scary motorcycle men comments now too, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be on or the like, search for <laughs> yeah. Bike. You ever get? So, oh, no, you go, you go. No, you could go ahead. I was gonna say like, are you ever paranoid? Like people are gonna recognize you and like follow you to wherever you're going. Yeah, hundred percent. Sometimes people will send me pictures of me on the freeway. Oh, oh that's crazy. Oh, that's fucking. Yeah, and like most of the time it's girls, so I'm like, okay, they just so saw me. Like yeah. they they like the car, that's crazy <laughs> but like. Too. Sometimes I'm like, wow, like someone who knows me could literally be behind me and I would have yeah. to be and like follow me. Do you carry like pepper spray? I have pepper spray always, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is pepper spray or do you have like a little gun or a little... No, but I should. Do you side on you? <laughs> you? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm, a- I'm an awkward fucker. I was... <laughs> Honestly, I was really against guns for a really long time. Like, I kind of still am. I don't know. It's kind of, like, a controversial topic. But, like, the more I've been, like, alone and, like, writing also and, like, getting, like, actively getting threats, like, online, I'm like, damn, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to just have on me. Like, I don't yeah. think I would ever, like, use it. Like, hopefully no, yeah, yeah, just, not. Yeah, but just, like, not. just for safety. if I'm ever in a situation, I'm like, hey, listen, I got a pew pew. <laughs> like, I don't carry a gun, but I carry a knife just in case whatever happens. Yeah. You never know, especially nowadays. This shit crazy. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Actually, this one's a random because I know we're on the on the images now. Mm-hmm. But, like, I remember this because we were talking about this. Um, Like, we're talking about, like, an argument in public with, like, a boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, my God. Okay. And so we were saying that, like, the girl can always win the argument if she says out loud, dude, what's your problem? Because then all <laughs> everyone will look and you'll be like, fuck. So like imagine if like some girl's trying to fuck with her boyfriend, you know, and just says that in public, yeah. five people looking. Maybe one guy gonna come out, hey, what bro, what's that one white knight. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking serious right now? And you push her and be like, 
Dude, that's the Dude, craziest I used to do this shit. thing where I would be like, stop, we're cousins. Like, <laughs> oh, that's like, crazy. To your, to your like, boyfriend or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, I'm public? walking out. Uh, damn. <laughs> I like funny, just though. for fun, yeah, just as a little joke. Like if you tried to hug me, I'd be like, "Stop, dude, we're cousins." <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty fucking fine. Yeah. You seen those like? Okay, no, I don't want to get into like the. I've never been like a public arguer though. A public what? Oh, a public, public arguer. So embarrassing. I'd be yeah. seeing so many couples nah. like, argue yeah. or something. Like, I can't argue in public. Yeah. It's like if I'm annoyed in the moment, I'm going. We gonna argue at home. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Not <laughs> we can at wait. home though. Not yeah, in public is crazy. Yeah. I'd be seeing, they'd be seeing. It's not at Olive Garden. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Next image. Mm -hmm. This one makes me happy. It's a pretty nice one. <laughs> that one makes me happy too. Can you explain the context? Yeah, so that was, it was honestly a crazy time in my life. Like very transformative, chaotic. Um, this was last month. Not just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was actually, to give them like a time period, this was February of 2023 that I moved into this apartment. Okay. Um, and you're I in the wanna... same one, right now. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and so, a month before that, the boyfriend I was with at the time, the one that I recorded, that I ca caught yeah. him cheating on me. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that whole confrontation. I was with him, and we were actually like planning to move in together. Um, bad idea. I think I was just like stupid, blind in love. I think now, like. If I had a boyfriend, I don't think I would, like, ever move in with a boyfriend, yeah. at least for, like, years in. But yeah. at the time, I was just, like, blinded. I was like, yes, great, amazing idea. I would love to live Aww. with you. Yeah. And so um, I my lease was ending, like, two weeks before this picture. Like, my the lease that I was uh -huh. on before this apartment. And so I... Um, I found out he was cheating on me, and that left me with, like, literally one week to find apartments. Yeah. And oh, so... Shit. The guy I talked to after that, yeah. um, he was living at the place next door to this one. Yeah, I remember. And he was like, oh, like the one by me is like open. Because I was like telling him, I was like, dude, I literally have no idea what to do. Like I have no time to look oh, for apartments, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, like the apartment next to me is open. Like you should try to apply and see what happens. I apply. I got approved. And I was actually really happy about it. I still am. I love that apartment. It feels like home, honestly. Is, wait, so you both still live next to each other? No, he moved out a while ago. Oh, was so. it awkward for a little bit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, okay, sorry, but that's like fucking weird. Like, yeah, it was really weird. Uh, <laughs> it was dude. really weird. Oh, 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 I remember actually. Was there a moment when, there was a moment on your story where you posted that you thought someone broke in or something like that. Yeah. And... I don't know if I swiped up or if I kept it in my head. I don't remember what it was, <laughs> but I remember thinking like, "Well, you post so much of like your outside area, mm -hmm. like you're it's gonna like, get docs, dude. Like it's yeah. gonna, cause you post a lot about your your apartment." <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah. But it yeah, is scary. You... I've definitely become more confident. What was that situation? Um. Or maybe you don't want to talk about it on camera. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. just in case someone gets brave. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. matter of fact, if you want us to cut all that out, we could. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, the the awkwardness of the, who would that person living next <laughs> to you, that had to suck. Um. Yes and no. I feel like we both like actively like avoided like seeing each other, and I think there was only one time that we bumped into each other after, and like. I that's just, one too many though yeah <laughs> i was like leaving and he was coming home and i just like like tunnel vision down didn't say a word he didn't really? either yeah and it was just yeah yeah that uh, i don't like I, I got into my car and i was like oh what just happened <laughs> mm. yeah okay but honestly like regardless of what happened with him i'm very grateful he put me onto the apartment because i love it there, so there. <laughs> yeah and i'm yeah. still there is that where you do your podcast no, I did my podcast at my manager's office. What happened to it? I honestly just got bored with the concept and what I was doing on it. The concept was to like kind of hang out, talk, and then I would have um, viewers leave in voicemails to yeah. a Google number. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would like react to their stories or like give them advice on if they needed advice on anything. Um, and then it just got to a point where I was like, I just kind of ran out of things to say. <laughs> like, I, there's only so much advice I could give, you know, and I'm also just like only 20. So I feel like I don't have yeah, enough life experience. unlimited experience yeah. to like give everyone like 
some life-changing advice, you know, and I just felt... I saw on a video, I don't know which video it was, but you say you're going to rebrand it and launch it again, possibly? I do want to, yeah. yeah. Under what name? Or you haven't thought about that yet? Um, I was thinking Earth to Verena. I was kinda, That's nice. Yeah, okay. right? I kind of like that. Cause well, I have... Everybody makes it out alive. <laughs> 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 yeah that could be that yeah because the first name was nobody makes it out alive and yeah like looking back i'm like that's a little corny like okay no, it's girl, a long name. It's a long name. <laughs> bro have you watched a new episode yeah. of everyone doesn't make it alive? <laughs> yeah man yeah. so i can't be a guest because you don't have a podcast anymore no I like, I like but i'll restart it who's your who's your co-host what's his name um i didn't have a co-host actually it was just me that's yeah sweet. but i had um one of my managers would come in and like co-host sometimes I just saw when I like didn't want to do it alone. One video, I think you had a friend in. He had like a camo like hoodie or something. It might have been David. Yeah, David. I don't know, but he was funny. I like. He's that. so funny. Yeah. I love David. I David. <laughs> yeah, that was so. Well, I'm not agreeing to the funny. I don't even know who that is. He's but funny. he's funny. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I guess you guys. <laughs> yeah, the, the the whole podcast thing is, dude. I ain't gonna lie. I got to my own horn here because like <laughs> we've been doing good, bro. We've been doing pretty good. It's a 10k indie. Yes, yes. So, you said you never watched our podcast. That's kind of messed up. Kind of fake, to be honest. I I didn't want to come into it with like a picture of like what it was gonna be like, you know? I yeah. Just, like, cause and I, now you see it's pretty cool. Yeah. No, I love it here, guys. It's horrible. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> we we just like talk about like on the solo podcast where there's no guests. Yeah. Talk about just whatever is going on on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I did it. I did skim through a little bit of the one with Johnny uh -huh. to like see the vibes and like. The setup and the lighting and everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the lighting. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the images, back to the images. Yeah. I think I have two more. Okay. So, can you explain <laughs> what happened here? So, <laughs> um, not my proudest moment. I was picking my friend and his little brother up from their dad's house. Are the, wait, wait, are those uh, the cypresses? Naked uh, wolves. Oh, they're called naked wolves? Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of names for those types of that style. Yeah. I swear I've seen like five different names. <laughs> it's your story. Sorry about that. I actually have a video of this. If I find it, I can like, really? send it to you. Yeah, of like it actively happening. Oh, because it records at all times, right? Um, no, it was on my on my friend's dad's like driveway camera view. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. So it was like a really steep driveway, like like uphill, and so I parked like with the head in. Um, and so there was like very little wiggle room for me to like reverse out because his neighbor like in front of him had a huge RV like parked in the street that was taking up most of the street. Okay. So I made a mental note to myself when I parked. I was like, OK, when I leave, I'm going to have to like start turning as soon as I reverse. Yeah. And I just didn't do that and like full set straight back into the RV. <laughs> My friend is in the in the front seat in the passenger seat and his like 12 year old brother. Yeah, the back. back. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And I... <laughs> And so um I actually didn't know what to do. There was like no markings on his RV. Like my my car like crumpled like a paper. Wow. Um there was like a tiny little scratch. So I was like I don't know what to do. Like is your neighbor home? And he was like no, but we can go to the mall like what we were going to do and come back and then, <laughs> and then like proceed from there. And then I was like okay, like is that a hit and run? <laughs> and they were like no. And so, so you went to the mall? I went to the mall. <laughs> Dude. And then I had like called my dad and told him about it. And then he made me drive back and he met up, he met up with me there. And then like okay, knocked sorry. on the neighbor's door and he was like, my daughter just hit your RV. Um, and he was really nice about it. He was really cool. Okay. No damage to the RV. Yeah. So. I was about to say he has no damage. Of course he's not mad. Yeah. yeah. He looked at my hot. car. He was like, damn. Do you have Tesla insurance? Yeah, no, it was all under warranty, everything. I okay, got it awesome. fixed perfect, yeah. Damn, that's... Yeah, I was heartbroken. To go shopping right after is pretty <laughs> cool. I know, I've had moments like that where, like, something in my life fucks up. How do you even know she had the bags? Yeah. Yeah, I just went to go get <laughs> oh, Legos. Yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> and you're at the Tesla station. Yeah, I went to just plug my car. Like, what can I do at that point, you know? Like, whatever. <laughs> but, like, I also had this stupid thing where, like, um, I reversed my car into my own garage i was checking how <laughs> i was checking how big the garage was uh -huh. and i reversed too much oh no i thought i was in drive and i do the pedal it. and i go back and my window broke no. of this car wait like your back window yes the whole thing shattered no and the tail way. fell off <gasps> and i was before i moved in here because i was just checking out the place and i was like dude how does that even happen like the whole back shattered, shattered? 
Yeah. No way. There's a, instead of like, you know, there's a wall here. Like yeah. Just imagine right here, there's a fucking pillar of oh, horizontal wow. pillar of wood. And my, since my windows like this slanted, uh -huh. it hit the pillar and then just everything shattered. Oh, wow. And did it, did it all like fall into your car? Yeah. Oh my God. And then I, uh, I, I'll never forget because it sucked uh -huh. a lot, but um, it was a really interesting moment because I was with my ex-girlfriend uh -huh. and she expected me to like freak the fuck out. But I was, I was blessed enough to be like, dude, I have money. Like, yeah, I'm going to fix, fix it, you know, yeah. like I, it was stupid. Yeah. But luckily I'm blessed enough to like, I'm going to fix it. Exactly. But that shit took four, three months to get back. No way. Yes. Mine took like two weeks. What? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, I have a Model X and they always tell me every time I go to the shop, like we have, there's barely any like parts. Limited we have to parts. order them. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. so damn dude that sucks i know it's like yeah. a lot but but that's so true that you brought that up yeah like it's like a very privileged like mindset i know right like, it almost okay like it's do fun. you have those situations where you don't want to complain like this mm -hmm. is just an example when it comes to money if, if like maybe one day i'm like damn i only made 5k today and not like because <laughs> sometimes dude yeah like i, I yeah. yeah sorry continue it's hard to because it, it would these guys understand me they get me but, like, if I say that to, like, another person that does work in 9 to 5, they'll look at me like, shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah. Like, like, that's more than some people's, like, one month. I know. Like, three months with, like, yeah. I'm not saying I make 5 to 10K a day, by the way. <laughs> I fucking wish I did. That would be a really good day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But. So, it's, it is hard to complain sometimes? It is, Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I try not to complain to like my friends who don't do YouTube either. I, honestly, I just try not to complain about money, period, because I already know that I'm in a very privileged spot compared to a lot of other people my age. It's interesting. Yeah, I do talk about that to influencers and it, it is nice when I, yeah. for example, when I first met Jake and Johnny, um, I, I went to their house and then I was talking to them about the YouTube one out of 10 system, you know, where it tells you your rating. So that kind of hurts my feelings. Sometimes. I know. I, <laughs> yeah. Like Jake was like, yo, when I get one out of 10, it's a good day. I wake up. I'm like, How are you doing? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> so, so it's the same, you know, you, yeah. I get one out of 10. I'm happy. I see the confetti. Okay. Well, yeah. Tonight. The confetti is literally like music to my eyes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I never heard that one. Music to my eyes. I was going to say music, music to, to my, my ears, and then last one, I was like, to my ear. Yeah. I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. No, so. But, like, the 5K example, like, mm -hmm. let's say if we did make 5K a day, like, if our normal is, like, 10K a day, and then, like, one day we suddenly start making, like, 5K a day, like, it's, like, it's still a lot of money. It's still a good amount of money, but it's, like, damn, like, what happened? Like, what plummeted? Yeah. Like, yeah. And so, it's, like. Yeah, it always is, Um, like, even when. I would be like, damn, my video got demonetized and shit. Mm -hmm. It would be like, dude, you still make a lot of money. And it's like, yeah, but it. this is like, if I yeah. I got like five demonetized videos in a row, that was getting scary. Mm -hmm. That was just weird. Like to me, that was a lot. That would be scary. But it is, uh, it's the way you explain things. Mm -hmm. You can't just be an arrogant. That's why um, if I were to be the type of dude, I was telling Brandon about this. If I was the type of dude to be like, yeah, I got bands, bro. And I'm like posting <laughs> on Instagram. Then next month, yo, my video got demonetized. They will have no sympathy for Yeah. Me. So I, I do my best to be humble and give back whenever I can when it comes to either giving money to my family or, like, yeah. the Postmates, you know, surprise them with a little, little tip <laughs> or the Uber drivers and stuff like that. But I, even that, I don't post that. Like, guys, I just gave my Uber driver $500. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, I, no, I, I, I do it on my own. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could really save um, wavelength, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else I got. I think we have one more. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this. Wait, I had this a slide? feeling this was gonna be on the slide when you said there was gonna be Instagram picture. <laughs> you chose this one too, right? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. So you got? Do you still have it, or does it? It fades away pretty quick. I huh? can't tell. I don't know. Is it still there? It is. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah. A little, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It says Bob. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, honestly, I was just feeling really impulsive that day. I was like, "Why? Like, what else can I get on my inner lip? Like that I don't care about. I'll laugh about." Um, and it did hurt really fucking bad. Oh, did it? It was so bad. Like the bee 
it was it was like okay i can do this and then he got to the middle of my lip like the heart and i was like oh shit i'm about to walk out with boo like <laughs> is that a painful tattoo or is it like you have another one no i would say my most painful is my tramp stamp for sure yeah. my back tattoo wow that felt like a million knives carving into my back would you say you regret that one the most or is there any other is there another tattoo you're like yeah wish i wouldn't got that i don't regret any except for one Wait. and it's my biggest one your biggest one? This this thing right here. Is that? Turn your hand. What is it supposed to be? I wish I could tell you. <laughs> you don't know? Huh? You really you like you don't know what it is? So the story is. Um, we gotta get a picture of this thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. The the tattoo artist is great. Like her work is amazing. Let me just take a it's really quick. It's nothing on her. Um, however, I will say. I had been. <laughs> you going? You going? I had been like planning to get a tattoo with this artist for a while, and I really, really loved her work. And I, I hit her up. We made the appointment, and I sent her like all like her designs that I really love. And I was like, "This is kind of the style I'm going for. Um, if we could." like integrate that into my sleeve somehow i would love that like well blah, blah. she's like okay like i usually do um the drawings like a day before the appointment and i was like okay that's oh, wow. fine yeah <laughs> that is wait, wait, wait. that's really scary <laughs> i do the drawings a day before the appointment and then she gets the approval a day before the appointment and so i was like Ooh. okay girl if that's the way you work no, like that's scary. i'm not gonna question it yeah. but okay um and so um the day before the uh, the appointment she sent me this design and so i told her i was like hey girl like honestly like it's a super sick design it's just not really my style mm -hmm. but here's some of your other work that i really really love and like if we could go this route instead so she was like yeah for sure like i'll, I'll draw something up um i'll have it for you when you get here I was like, okay <laughs> oh, my yeah and so keep in mind this is still like i was i had freshly turned 18 this was like one of my like birthday tattoos to myself oh there's like no backbone version. yes exactly okay. like couldn't stand up for myself and so i come in the next day and she's like here's the design and it's the same one and i was like okay that's supposed to be your face right here i don't know it looks good though. It's not like bad. Yeah, it's, it's not cool. like something. With it. I I don't hate it. Like now, it's there as a reminder for myself to like speak up, yeah. like say something if you don't yeah. like something. Separate. Yeah, that that's yeah. separate. I like it. Though. Would you get it covered up? I would. Like okay. like a tap blast, like something over. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so I sat there, and it was an eight-hour-long tattoo, and it was almost two thousand dollars. <laughs> and it was extremely painful. Stuff that you didn't want. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And I was literally just sitting there in the tattoo chair, like in physical agony, in mental agony. Yeah. Like, oh I was like, dude, what do I do? Like, I was actively texting my friends, like, it's still salvageable. I can get up halfway through this tattoo and like just find uh -huh. someone to fix it. Yeah. But, like, I also just didn't want to offend her and be like, I don't like your work. I don't like this design because like know, that right? wasn't the case. But I had communicated like this isn't my style. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Does she know that, that you don't like it? No. She doesn't? Well, she now she knows. Now yeah. Knows. You don't find her on your following. <laughs> yeah. <That's it. laughs> wow. That's the only tattoo I regret. I don't regret any other ones. Wow. Okay, that's a, that's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting like your whole body tattooed or just like wherever? Um, I, I haven't gotten a tattoo on this arm since this one because it stumped me so bad. I'm like, yeah. I don't even know what I want to do with this oh, arm anymore, it. you know? But I do want more tattoos. I don't know about like fully, but like... Sometimes I regret it. I'm like, damn, I, I I, wish I had like one to two cute little dainty tattoos. Like, I feel like I'm too far gone now, but. Would you ever get a face tat? No. No, I feel that. Uh, I'm going to get one. Really? A little teardrop on your tongue. Get uh, like the Windows uh, folder icon mm -hmm. right here at some point when I'm 25 or 26. Okay. Why the Windows folder? Because. Uh, I love computers and like I love the internet mm -hmm. and I thought that would signify that what I see like I store like memories and oh, shit and so I really have sick. a little folder right here. I want to do it. I, I really want to do it. I've explained it before and I tweeted out I'm gonna get a face tap, uh when I'm 25 and I'm tweeting this now so you guys don't act surprised. How old are you now? 21. Okay. Almost 22. Next month, March 18th. Yes, sir. March, March 2nd. 2nd. You got to switch the battery? Noted. Switch the battery. <laughs> We're about to do the outro. I'm pretty sure. You ready? Okay.
I actually do want to ask you, though, like, what prompted you to have me on your podcast? Like, I was genuinely surprised. I was like, oh, like, we've never met. Oh, okay. So, I really, like, when I... Here, here's how I'll, I'll word it. Okay. When we started the podcast, we always talked about guests. Mm -hmm. And we always have one guest in mind. And his name is Funeral, a rapper. Shout out Funeral. Hurry up. Yo. I'm just kidding. I don't want to keep forcing him like that. And, that's you know, it kept getting delayed and stuff like that. So then that's when I was like, okay, let's get YouTubers on. Mm -hmm. I got connections. I'm going to talk to YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And Jake and Johnny, the, the when, when I met them, and then... I, I saw that there was a connection with, I guess, their, the group he, they hang out with and you. Because mm -hmm. Tara was connect, like connecting all those groups. I was like, mm -hmm. I know Verena. So it wouldn't be awkward to ask. I know like, it wasn't awkward. Was it yeah. awkward answering? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, that's, I want to get Tara as well. Yeah. We're trying to get Tara. And like I, already, I, I felt like you were just easy to talk to. I, it, mm -hmm. There are some influencers I don't even ask because like, I'm probably not easy to you talk can to. already, yeah. Yeah. The vibe. So that's what made me do it. Like being becoming friends with them made me want to ask you because I realized, oh, you're in. I don't think you're in their circle, but it's mm -hmm. definitely that LA circle. Oh, that was another good thing. Okay, last topic I want to talk <laughs> about. Last topic I want to talk about before we wrap up is like the LA scene mm -hmm. and parties and stuff like that. Yeah. Specifically, the LA scene, I don't like it. I, I do not like. I it. too do not like it. No. Yeah. Yeah. You experience like a lot of fake people and stuff like that? Hundred percent. Yeah, dude. Um I think like if it weren't for how much I love my current apartment, I'm like actually actively looking in places like San Diego and Sanitas. Like I wanna buy a house hopefully within like the next In California? Yeah, here Ooh. to two years. Yeah. You're making that good money then. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a year to two years. Um, so I don't know if I should just stay here and thug it out until I'm ready for that era of my life or if I just want to get the fuck up out of here, because I don't know. It's really, it's not for the week. I, I just feel like my time there has, like, kind of expired. I don't also don't really go out like that. I'm very much a homebody, so it doesn't really, like... L.A. is good if you are, like, a very social person and like to go out, but... I wouldn't say I, I hate going out. Like, I'm not like, ah, like, I, I like going out, but... I don't know. I feel like a lot of my bad. You go. Sorry. I could, no, no, no. You're good. I feel like a lot of influencers have like that little LA sage. Like they, when they when they first blow up, they go to LA. They have that whole honeymoon phase, and then they realize there's a whole bunch of like snakes. Yeah. In the industry and all that. Yeah, mine was the shortest probably. It was two parties, and I'm back. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I thought only went to one. You went to two. It was two Halloween ones. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Every time I go to an LA party, I have to hibernate for like six months after. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a lot, yeah. and like. Seeing influencers, I thought it was really cool. I don't know if you saw my my Halloween post. Like I posted with everyone. I I don't. I am not afraid to be like, yo, let's get a picture real yeah. quick. I don't care. I got more subscribers than half of them, and yeah. I still do it. Like it's it's just fun to me. Yeah, it's a but, little like prideful of some people. I think to like admit that they like watch you or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cause, cause over there, like it seemed like it was like, what up, bro? I'm like, no, bro. Like he's, I've been watching you. No, like, shit like that, and it, it seems like it's not welcomed. It seems like yeah. you gotta be cool. Yeah, like, I was actually talking about that in my vlog, like on my way here. I was like, dude, like I fuck with his videos. Like I watch his videos. <laughs> like, thank you. Yeah. What's my outro then? No, I'm just kidding. I'm like, I quiz you. Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> like know. That. I don't know no, that. A lot part. of people don't even know my outro because they don't make it to the end. Like a lot of people just don't know it. But. We'll do it to end the podcast. Okay. So do you have anything you want to shout out at the very end? Um, no, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> Which you have, we have only one or you have like a side channel? No, I have one. It's just, it's just my name. It's just Verena. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys have an ending. Anything to say at the end? Shout out First High. Going crazy 2024. Doing shady things in dark corners. Karen? Shout out Puffy Clothing Co. New hats coming very soon. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, that was the episode with Verena. I think it might be my favorite episode on the crew podcast yeah, so I'm far. Too. Yay, Good thanks for having like me, it. guys. I had fun. Oh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you guys next time we upload. All about me, only get how a few. Everything I should be full, 10 on me. I was going to take it to the club. Instead, I'm spending on